in this lesson you will learn about kind of map or k map a kind of map is a pictorial method used to minimize boolean expressions without having to use boolean algebra theorems and equations manipulations so i would assume that you have already familiar with basic logic gates such as and gates or gates not gates and etc and supposedly you should also know the truth table boolean algebra and expressions and boolean simplification if not please go back to the previous lesson to refresh your knowledge a kind of map or k map is actually similar to truth table because it presents all the possible combination of input variables and the output variable instead of being organized into rows like this truth table the k-map is an array of cells like this in which each of cells represent binary value of the input variable for example uh, the input variable a b and c of value 0 0 0 is actually can be mapped into k map like here so a b is 0 0 and c is 0 and the output will be 0 and here the output is 0 another example is this one so we have a b c equal to 1 0 0 and the output is 0 so from here we know that this is 1 0 and 0 1 0 0 and the output is equal to 1 so the whole output can be actually mapped into the kind of map array of cells k map can be used for expression with two to up to five variables but in this lesson i will only discuss about two three and four variables k map to illustrate the principles the number of cells here is equal to the total number of rows in truth table so in this example we have three input variable so we have a total of eight rows so the k map also will have a total of eight cells so we'll see details how to actually transfer a truth table into the k map in the next few slides all right how do we label our k map so in this example I will use 4 by 4 k map which is actually 2 by 4 variables equal to total of 16 combination so since we have four input variables I name it as a B and C D so we have 4 by 4 cell here okay so next how do we label each cell so in k map the cells next to the others can only change a single vet variable between them what means by this is actually the first cell start with a b take the value of 0 0 and the next cell can only change one variable so if you look at here from 0 0 to 0 1 only one here is changed from 0 so for the next it's not going to be 1 0 because if we take 1 0 0 is changed to 1 and 1 changed to 0 which is against the rules of k map which said only one variable change between cell next to them so this is wrong so we have to take 1 1 because 1 to 0 to 1 is one change different and 1 to 1 is not different so it's going to be 1 1 
and from here one is remain and only this cell is change variable is changed to zero similarly for this part cd if you look at here from zero zero to zero one only one variable change from zero one to one one only one variable change and from one one to one zero only one variable change so this is how we label our camera so when we have this input combination for example a b c d is equal to zero 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 then we have let's say our output variable is f let's say our f is one so we have to uh, write our output variable here zero 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 equal to one so i will explain in details later on this is one way of uh, labeling our k map the next is actually this k map also represent the same mapping here we actually can take uh, put the input variables whether it's on the lower side or the upper side like this is still the same and instead of using the zero zero to represent the variables we can also use the uh, variable itself for example we explained in a previous lecture c complement and d complement is equal to zero zero c complement d is equal to zero one c d is equal one one and c d complement is equal to one zero all right so please remember how to uh, label this k map so next i will explain about how to actually insert the output value inside the k map let's start with the simplest um, combination of k map let's assume we have two variable k map which is we only have two input a and b so this is the truth table for uh, this system output f how do we transfer this uh, truth table into the k map so as i explained in previous slide so first we have to uh, label our k map so we have two variable a and b or we can also change the position of a and b like this whenever we like so b or a all right then we have to label each of the cell so the first cell is 0 1 and b also take the value 0 1 so for the first 0 0 input the output will be 0 how do we transform this into k map so since a is 0 b is 0 so the output the first output 0 will be in the cell 0 0 in the second and similarly here so a is 0 b is 0 and we insert the output variable here the next is 0 1 and a is 0 b is 1 so the output will be in this cell so where is going to be here so supposedly you will know that it will be 0 1 and must be in this cell all right so the next is uh, 1 0 1 0 and this side is going to be opposite this one is 1 0 so it's going to be 0 and the last one is a b equal to 1 1 and and then the output variable is 1 and similarly here it is 1 so this is how you label the two variable camera the simplest form all right this is how we transfer three variable camera from a true stable if you still remember uh, in sum of product form what matter to us is actually the output with the uh, high or one okay so similarly in this k map the first easiest thing we can do is we pay attention to the uh, output with the high so what we do is actually we first label uh, the k map so we have a uh, three input variable so two to the power of three is equal to eight total combination so we prepare eight cell here so a b and c okay so the first cell okay look at the labeling here only one variables 
is changed between adjacent cell. So the first one of output is 0, 0, 0. So we take here 0, 0, 0 and we insert 1. Okay. So the next high output is 1, 0, 0. So we find A, B as 1, 0 and C is 1. So we insert the output 1. And the last one is 1, 1, 1, which is this one, 1, 1, and 1. So the position is here. So we have three cells with the high output. The rest will be 0. Okay. So uh, we can also change our uh, way of representing the cells. So we can put C on the top. A, B on the low part, but still the labeling is following the same principles, which is only one variable different between edges and cell. Okay, so in this case, we have uh, A, B, C. So A, B, C equal to 0, 0, 0 and output 1. So we have here 1 and we have 1, 0, 0, 1, 0 and 0 equal to 1. And the last one is 1, 1, 1 equal to 1. So 1, 1, 1 equal to 1. So the rest is 0. Alright, this is how uh, you transfer a three variables uh, truth table into the K-map. Alright, now let's see how we can uh, use a four variables K-map. So uh, in this example, uh, I use four input variables, A, B, C, D. So we have a total of two to the power of four, 16 combination, like in this uh, truth table. So as I mentioned before, uh, you can start labeling the K map, uh, like here, A, B, C, D, whether you want to use A, uh, zero, zero, or you can also use uh, A complement, B complement to represent zero, zero the same thing okay here c complement uh, d complement is actually the same as zero zero okay so how do we transfer this uh, truth table into the k map so as i mentioned before uh, the easiest way is to pay the attention where the output is high so here we have one two three and four high outputs so we look at the combination of input variables so we have 0 0 1 0 so a b 0 0 c d is 1 0 so the output will be high in this cell and the next is a b is 0 1 c d is 0 1 so a b 0 1 here c d is 0 1 here a b is 0 1 here so we have 1 here and the next is 1 0 1 0 so a b 1 0 is here c d 1 0 is here so we have another high here and the last one is a b is 1 1 c d is 0 0 a b is 1 1 c d is 0 0 so we have here so the rest will be 0 so we just insert all the zero values into the rest of the k maps all right so i hope you understand how uh, we can uh, transfer the truth table uh, representation into the k map for three to four input variables next uh, in the next session i will explain how we can create the boolean expression from this uh, K map and use it for simplification. All right, that's it. Thank you.